This is The Chris Abraham Show. Welcome to season four, episode 22, 22. Um, my name is Chris Abraham. That is episode 22. I am here in a very loud and noisy place. I do have my dead cat on my um, WS853 Olympus Pearl Quarter, whatever it is. And we'll see how it goes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Chris Abraham Show. Season 4, episode 22, my name is Chris Abraham, and today's episode is about salt and magnesium and potassium, three things that you never think about when you're an omnivore and all you get is sodium in your diet, and I will tell you more about it. P.S. T.L.D.R. If you don't know, my cardiologist did but didn't prescribe the carnivore diet for me for three months until the end of uh, December all the way through <clears throat> all the uh, feast days of the autumn you know including Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas Christmas parties Thanksgiving dinners get togethers parties dinners out, etc. Strict carnivore diet, which if you don't know, is meat or animal products, a little bit of dairy, because it is animal products, um, a little bit of things like yogurt, and a little bit of things like um, uh, cream, uh, cottage cheese, or cream cheese, maybe a little bit of mayo, but The real carnivores, the ones who aren't dirty, all they eat is fatty beef with like 75% fat, 20% protein kind of thing. And and they eat uh, water, coffee, or tea. And that would be tea without milk, tea without anything, coffee without anything. Um, And... I was getting a little funky, like I popped into AFib, atrial fibrillation, fibrillation, a couple days ago and talked to him and he's like, are you getting enough salt? Now, we'll talk about salt after the break. Thanks for being here. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. My name is Chris Abraham, and this is Chris Cast, but now it's known as the Chris Abraham Show. And I was really excited when uh, Tulsi Gabbard called her podcast the Tulsi Gabbard Show after I changed mine. Very proud. Love Tulsi Gabbard. Anyway, so... um. There are two companies that make salt additives that people in carnivore tend to recommend, neither of which um, are supposed to include any flavoring at all. So LMNT makes a salt additive 
and I have some right here. And it's, uh, they come in little packets, or you can get them in, in a larger uh, pot. And this one here is Citrus Salt, LMNT Electrolyte Drink Mix. It's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And you're supposed to mix it in to between 16 and 32 ounces of water to find your taste. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Stay salty. Now, it has sodium chloride, citric acid, magnesium malate, potassium chloride, and then also natural flavors and stevia leaf extract. This is the one that has taste. I bought the ones that don't have taste. All they are is that stuff without any flavor at all. And it literally felt like I was drinking seawater. Reminded me very much of being in Hawaii and drinking water while free diving and scuba diving. It kind of made me feel sick. So I am acquiescing to the flavors. <clears throat> so I bought a bunch. I went on to um, eBay and I they're usually $45 for 30 of them, I think. So I went into eBay and I found a dodgy guy who was getting rid of 30 for 25 I bought these packages for 20 for 10 of them. I don't know. It makes sense. 15 of them. Because I want to have them in my bag so I can just pour it into my travel bottle when I need it. But I also looked at Redmond's. And they make an electrolyte mix that they also have in little packets. But they actually also, it's, mu it's half the price of LMNT. It's very similar in makeup, in in um, salts and magnesium potassium and I could find it for half the price in a little pot with a scoop so when I'm at home and feeding salt into my giant gallon stainless steel like you know must drink entire gallon of water in a day I can scoop one two or three scoops of um, in this case I think it's watermelon or it's raspberry or whatever like I prefer lemon or lime but this case I think it's raspberry or blueberry or watermelon I can just throw it in there and I can make sure that I get hydrated um, another way I deal with that is by buying uh, the fanciest bone broth that I can find um, at uh, giant giant and then which isn't the fanciest. It's, I'm not near Whole Foods. There's a Trader... No, it's a Tweety's? Tweety's? Tinker Willie's? Uh, up the street. And maybe I can find some premium bone broth. But even bone broth, you need to add, like, sea salt and stuff to it. So, I'm going to... Most of the time when I'm feeling good, and I'm going to just be drinking fresh water out of my clean canteen 32 ounce bottle that I carry with me but um, the rest of the time like if I'm feeling low energy and I know that it's not coffee I am going to take to the um, I'm going to take t I'm going to put a packet into uh, into the bottle like only one I've got a 32 ounce bottle a bottle, a 32 ounce bottle, and I'm gonna put the salt into the bottle. Oh, you know what? My buddy Mark wants me to talk pidgin next time. He wants me to do an entire episode where I talk in pidgin English, you know. But I don't know, is it like cultural appropriation? Is it cultural appropriation for me to talk in pidgin the entire time? I don't know. I don't even know if I can speak pidgin you know, really good anymore because, you know, I was only there for 12 years. But like they say when you learn a language when you are freaking young, Boule, they say that, you know, you get pretty good at it. So, I don't know. I might do an entire episode. You going to tell me whether you're going to listen to it or not? You going to tell me whether you think it's stupid or not, brother? Anyway, brah, I'm going to return to Earth. Okay, so the reason why you need to add these things like potassium and so forth, is that you sweat, and you pee, and you poop, and you sweat, 
and especially if you exercise, you deplete electrolytes. As we quote from Idiocracy, um, I forgot the quote. I wish I was the guy who knew quotes. But there's lots of quotes about electrolytes. But most of those are true. The beautiful thing about idiocracy is that everything is true, just taken too far. Um, usually you do not need, unless you are an athlete, or you are uh, a football player, or wrestler, or runner, or a rower, or go to the gym uh, and do more than just a quick you know, workout, you, you deplete a lot of things like magnesium, pot potassium, and the various other electrolytes, including sodium. And so you need to consume it. You need to consume it. And usually what they call the keto flu, which happens to anybody who gives up all processed and even pure sugars and... Um, any types of carbohydrates or complex or even simple sugars, <clears throat> uh, the transition from burning carbohydrates and sugars to burning 100% um, uh, fat is an abuse to your body. And so in, in order, you know how um, smart guys, I wish someone told me this when I was in high school, but... All the day laborers in my neighborhood, um, the only thing I ever see them buying at uh, convenience stores and pharmacies and stores are either uh, beer or Pedialyte. And Pedialyte is the most, apparently the most excellent thing in the world. Um, and I was told by a guy at Starbucks this morning that there's actually a neutral, unflavored, like pure, if you will, Pedialyte, which might be very similar to the Element, uh, just plain salt version. And uh, that might be something I want to check out. It might be more interesting to stow one of those in my bag, and just in case. But in, in the same way, I think that... Uh, that um, a keto flu is similar to a hangover. You get fluy symptoms, you feel like garbage, you get low energy, you feel a little depressed, you feel, you feel hungover. And I think that the reason why professional alcoholics uh, take to Pediasure and not to Gatorade is because it does the trick. And apparently, people who are strict keto don't even want to get any dirt into their diet, so they get the element pure salt, but the LMNT pure salt, but I can't stomach that stuff. So I have the, I have the, um, let's see, there's, uh, citrus salt in here. There's more citrus salt. There's more citrus salt. Oh, here, here's a uh, raspberry salt and orange salt. I've usually in the past only bought orange salt because I like that the best. I'm a real fan of the orange Gatorade. But, you know, you might be doing your gallon, you might be doing your gallon of water every day. Um, but if you're on a special diet, if you're eating pure, uh, you might be under, you might be under um, consuming salt, magnesium, uh, potassium and all the other type of trace elements and I really think it's important to keep those in your diet as well anyway let me know what you think um, the uh, I had the AFib I, he thinks it might have had to do with with dehydration he reminded me that on a on a on a carnivore diet I need to, to drink twice the amount of water I really do have the goal of 155. Uh, ounces of water a day, which is, you know, um, 128 ounces of water is a gallon. So, like, you know, a gallon and a and a third. I don't know, a gallon and a quarter, every day, and some of that including uh, electrolytes. You can choose your own. I don't want one with carbs. I don't want one with protein. I just want one that can allay, if that's a word. Uh, my uh, keto 
doldrums, my keto sadness, my keto flu, my keto hangover. On that note, we'll take a break. I've got a call in 10 minutes, so I'll quickly do the closing chat after the break. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. My name's Chris Abraham. This is the Chris Abraham Show, formerly known as Chris Cast. My name's Christopher James Abraham. You can call me Chris. You can call me Zeus, which was my fraternity name. And honestly, I don't know why I got such a great fraternity name like Zeus. I mean, that's the king of the gods, right? Frick, I thought I was a nerdy dork, but um, it might have been sarcastic. It might have been a ironical, like, you know, like when you call someone tiny big or someone big, you call them tiny. But I guess I did come to campus and I did row and I, I am six foot three and I am not bad looking, I guess. Not ugly. I've never had acid thrown in my face. Um, my name's Chris Abraham. You can call me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. Please excuse all the background noise. This is uh, it's called color. It's called environment. Thank you. It's called real world. I do have a dead cat on here, so hopefully no wind noises. Um, plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one is my mobile. You can get me on WhatsApp, on Telegram, on Signal. You can call me, you can text me. But if I don't know who you are, I might not get back to you because I get a lot, of, a lot of spam because I give out my uh, phone number and my email like candy. My email address is chris, C-H-R-I-S, at abraham.su. My website is chrisabraham.com. Also, abraham.su aliases to it. I'm chris-abraham.com at Tumblr. I'm youtube.com slash chrisabraham on YouTube. I am facebook.com slash chrisabraham on Facebook. I am instagram.com slash chrisabraham on Instagram. I am linkedin.com slash in slash chrisabraham. Um... If you're on No Agenda Social, I'm at Chris. Uh, if you want to join my uh, Mastodon social network, uh, you can join, I think, without an invite. I will check. Giravik.su, Giravik.su. Um, oh, if you want to have a proper call with me, you can schedule it on Calendly, C A L E N dy.com slash Chris Abraham slash 15. Um, je t'aime, je, je l'aime. Um, je je l'aime. Ah, uh, that's stupid. Uh, je, anyway, I will talk to you soon. This is season four, episode uh, 22. And I appreciate you being here, and maybe I need more salt in my diet, because the ending is going out with a fart. Lots of love, and I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.